Hello garden friends. For those of you that don't know me, I am Miss Alicia and I am here today to share a story with you about Jesus. And I brought along my daughter's lunchbox and I'd like to show you what's inside. There is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a bag of pretzels. And I want to ask you if you can think about all the people um, let's say that are at church on Christmas and all the pews are overflowing and it's so busy and so many people. Do you think that this would be enough food to feed all those people for everybody to get a full belly? If I shared this snack with all of those people, would they be full after this? I don't think so. I think people would still be pretty hungry because they maybe would only get a little tiny bite or a little teeny tiny piece of the pretzel or a little teeny tiny piece of the sandwich. Well, in today's story, we're going to hear about how Jesus is able to turn just a teeny tiny amount of food into enough food to feed 5,000 people, which is a really big number. So our story today comes from, it's actually told in four different books of the Bible, four different accounts. So if you'd like to um, read on your own, I will tell you where you can find it in the Bible. There's Matthew 14, verses 13 through 21. Mark 6, 30 through 44, Luke 9, 10 through 17, and John 6, 1 through 15. And you can look in your Bible at any of those places and read about the story. But right now, I will share with you. One day, a large crowd of people came to see and hear Jesus. There were thousands of people. Jesus spent much of the day telling them about God's word and healing those who were sick. Near the end of the day, some of Jesus' friends noticed that the people did not have any food. The friends came to Jesus and said, Lord, it is getting late. Send these people away so they can go into the town and buy food. But Jesus answered, you give them something to eat. One of Jesus' friends said, look, here is a boy with five small loaves of bread and two small fish, but that little bit of food cannot feed all these people. Then Jesus told his friends, tell the people to sit down in groups on the grass. There were many, many groups of hungry people. Jesus held the boy's lunch and looked up to heaven. Jesus thanked God for the food. Then he began to break the fish and bread into pieces. Jesus gave the pieces to his friends and they began to pass them out to the people. Then Jesus made a wonderful thing happen. He made enough food to feed all the people. Every time the friends gave food away, Jesus still had more to give. After all the people had eaten as much as they wanted, Jesus told the disciples, go and gather all the food that is left over. Do not waste any. So Jesus's friends picked up the food that was left over. They had enough to fill 12 baskets. There was more food left over after everyone had eaten than what Jesus had even started with. Jesus had used his power to feed more than 5,000 men, women, and children. So that's a pretty special story because like I showed you in the beginning, this little snack would not feed a lot of people at all, but yet Jesus was able to feed so many people and have their bellies be full and have leftovers. He, he did a miracle by just that little bit of food. He made it become more food in order to feed all these people and then have leftovers in 12 baskets. In the Bible, Jesus has taught us to pray these words, give us our daily bread. And what he means by that is that he's promising things that we need each day, such as food and water and clothing and a roof over our heads. Um, in the Bible lesson today, Jesus showed that he has the power to help people. He tells them that he can save them from sin, which we all know that is true, right? Um, no one went hungry that day. Only Jesus has the power to feed more than 5,000 people with a little lunch. So that, my friends, is the end of our story. And I hope that you will be willing to share that with your friends and your family because it's a, a story of one of Jesus' special miracles is Jesus feeding 5,000 people. Um, and you all, I hope, will have a wonderful week ahead. And I would like to close with a prayer, please. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for bringing us all together at this, during this time for Garden Kids. We love you and appreciate you, Lord, and love that you are able to help that many people. We know that you are able to help us too when we pray to you and ask you for the things that we need, Lord Jesus. We love you so much. Amen. Y'all have a great week, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.